What is this horrible quote? It's way too expensive! Ah. My name is Toshi Yukimura. I work as a familiar at the Hotel Rom Lab in the restaurant department. The man that's yelling at me right now is Burrito Shitaka. He's the department manager. What the hell are you thinking? He don't need this good of wine! None of the customers are going to be able to tell the difference anyway! I was getting ready to order some special wine for the fair to bring in new customers. The budget was tough, so I didn't want, so I suppose lowering the quality of the wine is something we could do, but uh... You don't understand, do you? If we screw this up, we're done! Then we need to work with the PR department or there's gonna be no real benefit. We can't work with PR. I hate the manager of that department. He's someone that actually does his job. What did you just say? Ah, I'm going! Hey, Yukimura-kun. These receipts. Did you really think that you could write off dinner with your clients as a business meeting? Huh? But the other co-workers told me it was fine. This is Sagemi Taikomochi. She's 35 and her accounting lady. You're just drinking wine in the middle of the day. I mean, of course I'm gonna try tasting it. Whatever. Rejected. I'm going to take this up with Chitaka-san if you keep this up. Taiko Mochi-san was liked by our manager and she always uses that to her advantage when pushing her opinion onto people. I am not going to allow this to be paid for on the company's dime. Okay then. I walked away, slumped over and defeated before heading to a certain client. So yeah, it's just not really going well. Man, you've got it pretty rough, huh? This is one of our clients, a restaurant called L. Her name is Nozomi Kurashina. She's the owner of the restaurant. Hmm? What is it? Is there something on my face? No, it's nothing! I used to work with her in the past. She was actually an excellent sommelier. I used that connection from the past to help order specific wines. Our hotel restaurant is not that big, so we can't store that much wine. That's why she gives us wine in small portions. As such. That's how I'm managing to get by on such a small budget. And customers have finally started picking up on this. Do they know that I'm doing all these little tricks to make things work? Hey, are you okay? Do you have a fever or something? No, 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 I'm totally fine. I was just thinking about something. Huh? What are you thinking about during a business meeting with me, huh? Well, this time I was thinking, wishing that an asteroid would come crashing down into our company. You realize the kind of damage that would cause, right? You're probably going to be deeply injured, too. I mean, if everyone is hurt the same, then it's at least fair, right? You were way too fast to give up. <sighs> Stop being weird and focus on our work, huh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's rude! What, are you my mom or something? I understand you're really busy with work and stuff, but are you feeling okay? Are you resting? Are you eating? You really are sounding like my mom now. I'm fine. I can drink at work, too. Wine is not enough nutrition. It isn't? <sighs> let's go eat. Yeah, let's finish up work quickly then. You've always worked fast when it comes to eating. That has never changed. They say people don't really change. <sighs> Speaking of moms, it's your mom's 61st birthday soon, right? You sure you want to have reservations at my store? Yeah, I love that. It's been 15 years since I've seen her. Your parents got a divorce, right? Yeah, and I've only been with my dad ever since. My parents got a divorce when I was in middle school. My dad was always pretty sick from when I was young, and I was worried about him. So I decided to live with him. Afterwards, I haven't met my mom for 15 years. I think my dad didn't want to get in my mom's way, and he actually passed away the other day. So, uh, did you think about what I said? 
You still don't know, do you? Hmm, well, I mean, my dad only recently passed away, so... <sighs> I don't know if you're careful or just a pansy. I'm not very good at being in a place of power, you know? You should be doing bigger things! You've got such great talent, don't let it go to waste! <laughs> I don't have that kind of ambition, though. Whatever the case, I'll think about it more after Mom's birthday is over. Okay, but I can't just wait forever, you understand? Okay, you got your reservations then? Yeah, thanks for being so kind. The day of the birthday. Mom, it's been so long, and also happy birthday! Thank you, you've really grown. Taking me out to celebrate in a restaurant like this? Happy birthday, ma'am! I'm going to be handling your table this evening. My name is Nozomi. I'm the owner of this restaurant. Takoshi-kun is always doing great things with us. I didn't realize you were so familiar with such a beautiful young woman as well. You are just like your father. What are you talking about, Mom? I've heard all about your special birthday, so I've prepared this for you. Huh? A 1963? It's as old as I am, and it's from Portugal. Yeah, there's a lot of great wines outside of France, you know? That's wonderful. I like that you're thinking outside the norms. It was at that moment. Here it is! This is the store that we import all of our wine from. Huh. It's not too bad. <laughs> Are you okay? Well, why is the manager here? Daimochi-san is too? Toshi, wait. Is that your... Why the hell are they here today of all days? Your very loud customers. Did something happen? Uh, nothing! Hmm? Well, well. If it isn't Yukimura. You're really sitting here selling snake oil to these great people. It's my mom's birthday, so... Birthday? Who the hell cares? What? The alcohol is going to taste worse with poor people here. They've got lame clothes, too. They don't fit in with the expensive restaurant. You can tell you're poor, right? What? I'm disgusted. She's dressed in nothing but elegance from top to bottom. How can they not tell at all? <laughs> Thank you. I'm just glad that you can tell. As long as you can tell, I'm okay with it. But Toshi, you really work under that boss? That's so much worse than I ever thought. You really don't have any taste, Yukimura. I'm sure you probably just leave it up to the suppliers to bring in some shitty wine, right? Huh? Really? Sir, there are other customers. Huh? We're talking right now. Oh, this isn't good. He's not gonna listen. Sorry, Mom. I know it's your birthday. It's totally fine. I don't mind what they have to say. But Toshi, you really need to think about yourself. For yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna run to the bathroom. Toshi, you need to do something about your damn manager. Sorry, but he's always like that and never actually listens to anything I've got to say. You really are something else. You aren't upset that they're ruining your mother's birthday? I'm upset for you. And do you have any idea how much you've walked around begging people, trying to get wine from other stores? Because if you think I haven't noticed, I have! Nozomi. He made fun of your work and my store. If you aren't going to do anything about him, I am. I'm going to crack a head or three open and teach them a lesson. Whoa, 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 calm down there, tiger! Also, they only have a single head each. Uh... Then what are you going to do? You need to do something. I know, they mocked my mom and talked bad about your store as well. But I can't, he's my boss. I've always just frozen up when I'm in front of him. I understand, but I don't like who I am being right now either. Hey Toshi, do you remember when I quit the hotel? Huh? 
Huh? No matter how hard you work, if you're working in a bad environment, it means nothing. If anything, it can actually have a negative effect on you. If you're going to work hard, you should do it under a good environment. We need good wine, not to whine and rot. Nozomi. That's what you told me. When I used to work at the hotel, my co-workers would drag me down. And you told me that. You gave me the courage to move forward. Yeah. Your words were what allowed me to quit the hotel. And I decided to take on my dad's store. Remember that time? What happened to you, Toshi? Toshi! But... I guess you're just bad if it's got nothing to do with wine. Wine! I got it! I figured it out! Huh? I don't need to do this stuff on my own. Wine will save me! You're finally gonna do something about this? Yeah, it's thanks to you! Nozumi, I need your help! Of course! What do you want me to do? Bring me wine. I want to... Uh... Huh? They're still drinking. Disgusting. Yeah, and that's their last drink. I want you to do just as we agreed on. Yeah, leave it to me. Okay, let's go. Ha 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 you're still here, huh? <laughs> Sir, would you like to enjoy a very great wine with me? Huh? I don't want to drink something that you could order. You think so? I really do think that you'd be satisfied with what I've got planned. How about we make a bet then? A bet? Sounds like it could be fun. If the wine that I prepare is good, then I want you to pay for my table instead. If it wasn't good at all, I will pay for your table. Huh, so you're saying that if I think it's gross, you're going to pay for my table, huh? Of course. I mean, if you're not confident in your wine tasting ability, you can always say no. Huh? Who the hell said I won't do it? Bring it! Great. I just gotta poke his pride and he's on board. Here you are, my special wine. Don't make it sound so fancy. It's cheap wine. Hmm? How about you take a look at the bottle as well? Because why not? Is this a... It's the most valuable wine from the French vineyards using only the finest of grapes. It's the world's most impeccable wine. Are you saying? Thank you so much. This wine is 100K a bottle. Huh? This is Romani Conti, 1945. What the hell? 100K? No way. What do you think, sir? The world's most amazing wine. Well, is it good or bad? Mm -hmm. He probably thinks that expensive wine tastes great. How could you say something that costs $100,000 doesn't taste good? There's no way they have this expensive wine here! Hey, what do you think, sir? D -d Shut up! How do you have- Ah, uh, you shouldn't have agreed to this weird gamble! I suppose this is good enough? Huh? Don't worry, the wine that you drank is not the expensive wine. What did you say? The bottle is a replica anyway. It's a toy for conferences. How dare you! You fooled him! Did I? I didn't say that the wine bottle I presented was the wine that I served. What did you say? This wine is good too, but it's definitely not a Romani Conti. You should be able to tell the difference with one sip. Nay, just a scent alone. You're the one that fooled us! Then how do you decide the price of the wine that you purchased? Oh... Wine does not have a set price. A variety of factors influence the price of wine. You have to use those conditions to try to get a read on how the price will change. You really have to know the market or you're gonna sell the wine at a price that is not fair. You're just Yukimura! Hey, I thought he just imported random wine. If you're fooled by someone with bad intentions, you're gonna spring that loss to the customers. You really think that someone would want to go to a hotel that does that? Enough! The bet is off! You're going to pay for my table!
I don't mind, but I don't think you should be worrying about that right now. What? I'm gonna be resigning. Huh? Toshi. I mean, you can still buy wine even if Yukimura-kun quits, right? Y yeah I'm so glad that this loser employee finally quit. Oh, then we're going to go ahead and cut ties with your company as well. Huh? The only reason that we sold wine to you at all is because Toshi was around. I knew that as long as he managed and monitored the wine, they would be treated correctly. I think other stores are probably the same too. So yeah, good luck finding new sources. What? Our company's selling point is about how much variety of wine we have. I need to go back to the office and find new sources for my wine. Wait, hang on. Come again soon. Toshi, you did so great. I'm so glad that you've grown into a great man. Mom. But what about work from now on? I've actually been inviting him to work with me for the longest time. You've been keeping this wonderful young lady waiting this whole time? Nozomi-san, I know he can be a handful. Please, take great care of him. Of course! I'll take full responsibility in making him happy. Am I some kind of puppy being adopted on or something? That's how I ended up quitting my job at the hotel. As for afterwards, I work hard at Nozomi's store. I source and buy my wine and manage it all too. I also teach other sommeliers as well. Nozomi is now more focused on running the business side of things now, and the store is doing so much better now. Also, Huh? That manager? From what I hear, he's on some hotel on some island in the middle of nowhere. He was forced to take responsibility for all of the complaints from the neighboring departments and all of the failures from the fairs, along with the fact that he made me quit. Sagami-san, now without the department manager in her corner, is left out of everything and treated like the horrible person that she is. I mean, they kind of brought it on themselves. Yeah, serves him right. All right, I want you to handle the staff on site, okay? Okay, sure. I have another meeting when I get back, so can you get a bottle ready for me? Understood, ma'am. Oh, come on, just call me Nozomi, like you always have. Oh, <laughs> all right then, Nozomi. Anyway, did your mom already go to France? Yeah, she said she wanted to make her own grapes, so she moved to France to find her roots. She is definitely fast to move. I think she was a little aggressive that my... I think she was a little too aggressive that my dad couldn't keep up, but I respect her. Yeah, I kind of admire that, too. Besides the words that I told you? Yeah, that was all just what my mom told me back way back then. <laughs> I see. But I'm totally fine with it, because you telling me that in the moment really saved me. I'm glad that you would think that. You're really making my mom look good. You just keep talking about your mom the whole time. Are you a mother lover or something? Oh, I met her a little bit. I'm apparently just like my dad. Ah, you just admitted it. Because I'm just like my dad, huh? What is it? Is there something on my face? No. Thank you, Nozomi. What's gotten into you? The only reason I was able to get over my manager and the troubles there was thanks to you. This is tough. I guess I really am like my dad. I really respect how aggressively Nozomi can move with how she quit her hotel and inherited her father's restaurant. Maybe I'm attracted to strong women like mom. We're going to start importing tomorrow. It's getting to that busy season. It's gonna get more busy? Can we slow down a little? There's so much more to do. Uh, this is why I don't want to be in a place with power or responsibility. I am complaining, but recently, Nozomi just seems so bright. I don't know what's going to happen to us from now on, but I might ask my mom how to do this proposal thing. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed today's episode.
And don't forget to check out our other episodes, too. According to my calculations, you are about to like and subscribe to our videos. Thank you for watching! See you next time!